anyone who's been keeping up with the news recently over the last three weeks knows that the Republican nominee for the Senate in Alabama, their special election, has been accused by multiple women of sexual misconduct and the biggest or most controversial allegation was the one in which it was claimed that he had violated or rather been physical with a 14 year old girl back in the either late 70s early 80s now i'm a person who doesn't really keep up with most of the late night talk show hosts i don't find them that amusing to where i'd want to actively tune into their stuff um but as moore was giving a rally two nights ago for those of you who are familiar with tony barbieri whose name i'm probably butchering there um he has a character by the name of jake bird and it's he used that character to play this eccentric fan that um it claims to be moore's biggest fan that somehow managed to get a front row seat to the event and it was pure comedy gold. It was absolutely entertaining. If you go and watch the video that's currently posted on um, Kimmel's account, YouTube account, he interviews with actual supporters of Moore, and he just he he plays off of them so well. And it's as though most of them can't seem to get the lampooning and mocking that is taking place, um, as well as the fact that during the actual rally. You know, he keeps pointing at, at Moore and making all these comments. And he's able to get a couple in before he gets escorted out inevitably um, by the staff. But the idea that he was at one point um, seen as not known for who he actually was, this award-winning comedian, and thought to just be a random fan that was that close to him. He was standing within inches. And I, I couldn't believe it, that he, they... <laughs> That 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 security is kind of uh, that that's lack security. Let's put it that way. That that's a critique of them because they're all, they're they were unaware of him at that point. Um, and really, what what is so good about this is what I love about comedians. I like when they can take a current event, one that's not really being touched, because I I've heard up all year Trump 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 by these comedians, but to have them focus on the election that is contemporary while still pulling their own little unique spin it, it it goes barriers beyond what i've seen over the course of this year and i wasn't expecting to speak anymore about more no pun intended um but i have to say if these uh charges even if they're not if they're correct proceed to continue and fester and fester and he still wins that election. There's we're, there's going to be much to discuss about him. Um, in addition to just having various political figures, I'm I'm just wondering what what him in the Senate will look like. And and we're getting close to that point uh, where that seems to be the like of likelihood. But this can at least be a a lighthearted moment in I think one of the darkest and most disturbing campaigns we've had in modern American history. You know, every, and I, I think this goes leaps and bounds above all the things that were said about Trump in terms of his showing of our negative factors uh, as a society. I have heard about Flynn Ashley. Um, and, you know, that can be discussed at a later time. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have some other stuff up. Um, probably nothing about net neutrality. I was just very much amused by by this. This was a, light, a lighthearted moment. I really, I, I think what I might do is make, after this campaign is over in 11 days, um, some type of retrospective video or just go over all the major points, just all the, in chronological order, this person said this, this person said that, this person said this, this person did that. Because this is a, a very special, it's ironic, it's called a special election, it's a very significant election. And I think it, there are so many themes here that we don't see play out regularly that even if you're not into politics, you'll still take some kind of vested interest in this. Um, and it's it, it will definitely be one I'll remember. So I, I like the video for, because it was lighthearted. I hope that Moore doesn't win, but he probably will. Um, and if that's the case, there was something that we got out of this that was 
worth something uh which was that video so thank you for watching